All right, so <clears throat> it's like 11, 18 at night. I've been sitting here watching Monday Night Football and my step count was only about a thousand. So I just decided I need to get up and go for a walk. Try to get my step count up. The normal, I think it says it should be around 6,000. So yesterday it took around 6,000 for me to do that two mile walk. So, uh, I don't know, as you can see, I don't know as you can see, I'm taking Ollie Lolly with me. And, uh, you know, we'll see how far we go. I'm not going to do too far or too fast. Um, and just thought I would say hi. And, um, hopefully, by the time I'm done, my step count will be up. Ooh, I just saw a tree. I thought it was a person. I was about to throw them fists up. But, uh, Anyhow, I won't keep this going for forever. I'm going to actually pause it. So for some reason, if it gets turned off automatically, this will be the end of the video. But I'll pause it, see if it lasts until I'm actually done with the walk. So I can give an update. Unfortunately, this is my newest phone. And it does not have the flip option, so I can turn it around and show towards the road. It's just facing towards me, and I can't flip it while I'm recording. I can only flip it when it's not recording. And I can only record one way or the other. This is not the phone I typically planned on using to do recordings. Um, but it's the one I'm going to do my run keeper on and all that stuff, so it's the one I happen to bring. I'll have to add that stuff to the other phone sometime later on so unfortunately walking with Ali I have to stop every so often because she's got a sniff so and I do have I do have her harness on and let's hope that she doesn't have to poop because I do have bags with me but man her poops are huge and last time I had to stop at the gas station she pooped on the way back from Tennessee and it was ugh, it was gushy and nasty I picked it up but it was not it was not a good time so anyway I'm gonna pause and if it goes off then I guess that's it and I guess she's decided she needs to pee so good for her um, but if it um, doesn't pause and I'll try to turn it back on when I'm done so we'll just see ya. All right, so we made it to the busy road. It's now 11.22. The thing just popped up and told me we were doing like 24 minutes a mile, which is, I'm sure gonna be normal because I had to stop with her. But uh, we're on the busy road and at this point, this is the one that ends where McDonald's is and we would take a left. Um, We'll see what it's like when I get to the end of the road. And I'll either keep going or turn around and come back. I do, don't know if I really want to climb that hill tonight. That's in the neighborhood, but. We'll see what happens. So. And that's odd. There's some kind of truck parked in front of the family dollar Sharon's store 11:23 at night time it ended up moving up a little bit but then you know just kind of Uh, somebody's getting out. It's almost like they're checking all the doors. Maybe it's just their security for that mall. Who knows? But anyway. So, I'll turn it back on when something's relevant or when I get done. Or, unless it accidentally goes off on its own. But Ollie's doing a great job. So, and we're getting our step count up, hopefully. All right, interesting enough, the post office is right there across the street. 
We're coming up on McDonald's and strangely enough there's a bus sitting right in front of that little pizza place. I'm not sure what that's all about. But just a little weird. Not a ton of traffic, as you can see. I don't know, maybe you can't see. Because there ain't no traffic. <laughs> but uh I wish I could flip the camera around. I'm so used to doing that. I'm definitely going to have to put all the exercise stuff on my filming phone so that I can walk and do the exercise and keep track of everything on top of being able to talk and stuff. So I flip the camera the different ways. So anyway, we're right on right at McDonald's. We're getting ready to turn. We're coming up to the intersection here. So, my knee's hurting pretty bad. Um, earlier today, my legs were sore, and definitely my shins. Almost felt like I had shin splints, and I couldn't hardly walk around the, the house. Now, the shin splints have subsided quite a bit, and, uh, the only problem at this point, we're turning left now. We're at that big intersection where you can see all the stuff. Right in front of me is Taco Bell. Anyway, shin splints have subsided, but my knee is quite sore. My left knee, which is the one I had wrapped yesterday, walked out tonight completely without any wrap or nothing and I was like no nah, I better go back in and get that because I can already feel it being sore so I walked back in and wrapped it and I actually got a a different wrap not so tight one for my right knee because yesterday when I was walking I could have used it it felt because I had my left knee wrapped so tight my right knee felt off when I was walking right now I don't feel off I just my left knee is really really getting sore so, uh, we're on this road. I mean, there's a ways down it, but the next turn is going down Kennebu, which is the road that takes me back to the house. Ali seems to be doing really, really well so far, aren't you, girl? Hey, you doing good, huh? She's just trucking along. So, I guess we're going to, I guess we're going to go that route. So that we can go up and down the hill. Should be a good time because I'm this far. I don't want to turn back, turn back and go the other way. It's 11:35. We are at 3,400 steps, 3,440 steps, I think. The time just came up and told me we were doing 21 minutes a mile so we've improved but i don't expect it to be too fast with walking with ollie but you know hopefully we're doing enough to get my heart rate up and burn some calories and uh i had a couple of sketchy people behind me a minute ago so I thought I'd keep the camera on a little bit longer just in case they started walking behind me. But they're not. So, I will turn it off. And continue to limp to success. I ain't lazy. Alright. It is 11.41. And we're coming up to Kennebu, where I'm going to turn left. And this is the street that will take me back home. Of course, i got to go down a hill and up a hill, and then down another big hill and up another big hill. But, you know, hopefully it's, it's worth it. You know, turning left, I get to turn around and look back and Time, make sure. 25 minutes. Distance, 1.26 miles. Average pace, 19 minutes, 46 seconds per mile. 1.2 something miles and average pace, 
something so it's coming down i'm almost walking as fast as i was yesterday I don't, you might even be able to have heard that i don't know it's just on the same phone i'm recording on so it's gonna get quite a bit darker going down this street so i don't think uh you'll be able to see much but i probably will turn it off until i get back home because yeah, I can tell it's already getting dark. Streets don't light up near as good here as they do on the regular road. And then when I get back home, I'll turn it on and give you an update. Unless, of course, it stops recording on its own. Then this is what you'll get. But uh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm at 40. 4,300 steps, so hopefully by the time I get back to the house, I'll be over 6,000. Right now, that's the goal. That's what the watch automatically sets you up at, is 6,000. Eventually, once I get decent at doing this, by the way, I'm already starting down that first hill. I'll move it up to 10,000, and then 15, and then 20, and, you know. So, I'm trying to be competitive with myself here, and this is day two, which is good for me. So anyway, I'll see you back at the house. All right, we're going up the big hill. As you can see, she slowed down quite a bit. I'm breathing heavy, which I get because I am too. We're going right by the park. It's 11.51, I'm hoping we can make it back before midnight, but if we don't, we don't. So that's it for now. All right, 11.55, I'm coming up on the turn where we turn onto my street and the house is right there. So five minutes, hopefully we'll make it anyway. I was going to tell you a story because I'm not turning it off now. Basic training. Running in formation. I rolled my ankle. Keep in mind, I was in really good shape. Just out of high school, wrestled. Worked out all the time. I was in really good shape. So, I rolled my ankle. And the next thing I knew, I fall out of formation. I'm on the ground. You know, screaming kind of. Because I hurt the hell out of my ankle. And I got three drill sergeants in my face, bent over, yelling at me. So, got to get up and start running. And I do. And uh, catch up to the formation. Get back in formation and continue to run. Noticing that as I run, I guess the blood pumps to your extremity that's hurting. And it alleviates that pain. Completely. The reason I bring that up is because I was talking about how my knee was hurting earlier. And as I'm walking. Time, 40 minutes, distance. Hang on. 2.03 miles. Average pace, 19 minutes, 38 seconds per Average mile. Average pace, 2.03 miles, 19 minutes, 38 seconds. Almost on the same pace I was yesterday. And I'm coming up to the house. And it's 11.57. And I am stepping into my yard. So I made it back before midnight. Anyway, as I'm walking, the blood has definitely wrenched my knee. And the pain, I don't have no pain right now from the knee or the knee, the knee or the shins or the ankle, quite frankly. The ankle always still hurts when I do this stuff. It starts hurting, but the pain has gone away. So, let me let Ali in real quick. All right, girl, go on. And I guess the football game must be over. Green Bay played San Francisco at San Francisco. 
curious to who won. But I'm gonna go go get you some water, girl. Go. Um anyway, what I was gonna say was uh everything's kind of stopped hurting. But as soon as I stop, like I can already feel my shins. Uh, my left shin is starting to hurt. And I'm sure once I go in the house, sit down, and try to get back up, everything will be flared up, and then tomorrow for sure. However, let's see. Step count-wise, I'm at 6,116, so. And it is 11.59. So I did it. I made the 6,000 step count before midnight. So that's me walking twice, two days in a row, hitting the step count. And a two-mile walk both days. So that's awesome. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Hopefully I can sleep tonight. I'll probably be all wound up. I always am. Um, but, uh, what was the other story I was going to tell? I can't remember. It had something to do with the military, and, um, I can't remember what it was. So it'll be a story for next time, I guess. So, uh, this video didn't go quite as long. 16 minutes, 22 seconds as of right now. So, uh, I'm back home. I'm feeling all right. I made the count. And, uh, we had no issues on the way. Hopefully, Ali will be able to be okay and recover fine, um, tomorrow. So, I guess I will see you. And, uh, Mr. Gadget Guy saying, have a nice tomorrow, today, the rest of today, which is only another minute. And then, a nice tomorrow, or today, if it's already changed. Okay, see you.